So hi everybody. I thought for today's topic we'd discuss that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. I shared it with all of you back in 2020, sharing an experience that I had with a friend of mine. Um, and I'll link that video here if you'd like to see a little bit more about it. But overall, I just kind of wanted to bring um, mental health awareness back to the forefront because it is May and it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And I know I sound like a broken record, but um, I thought it's something that we can talk about because I know 2020 was very hard on many people. Um, I know many people were just uncertain of how the year was going to play out. And then you may have gotten sick or had loved ones that did come down with COVID-19. So it is very tough. Um, I know a lot of people did lose family members. I personally knew people that did. Um, so it was just a very stressful year all the way around. And I know 2021 is slightly better, but it still varies from person to person. And for me, I think the biggest thing for 2020 was not being able to do all the things I usually did or do in terms of being able to go volunteer um, and just seeing friends because that was my biggest one. So for me, the social isolation was the biggest thing. Um, just not being able to go spend time with someone that you enjoy spending time with. Um, and I know that there were a lot of people that were very depressed and a lot of people that were very down and um, I've been there. So it's, um, I know it's hard to talk about and I know sometimes it may be a cultural thing. Sometimes it just may be that you don't want to talk to someone about whatever you're feeling aside from friends. But I think that we need to discuss it more. I think it needs to be um, shared more and there shouldn't be a stigma and the fact of that, you know, depression is a thing. And just because you can go about your day-to-day -day needs doesn't mean you're, you're not depressed. Um, and I think being able to talk to someone outside of your usual friend circle or you're a clinical doctor in terms of, you know, maybe a therapist or someone else outside of the general medical field spectrum may be helpful for you. Um, I did find some resources to share about um, Mental Health Awareness Month and um, a couple of other things that may you may find informative. Um, I did also found one option here for the state of California that is in the description below as well. I know that there are many um, healthcare providers and healthcare plans that do offer mental health um, services now. I know a lot of cities also have set up mental health hotlines for people to give them um, information on where they can find a mental health advisor. Um, so, I mean, if you feel bad and you feel down, you need to talk to someone because just closing in on yourself isn't good for you either. And I know it's been very hard for many people that are alone because they are, they live alone or they're just a little more socially isolated from everyone else due to other factors. But if, and also if you have a friend that you know isn't always at their best during a crisis, it's always good to reach out to them um, just to check in on them and make sure they're all right as well. So I just thought I'd give you guys that little bit of information and figure that it would open a dialogue um, and just to bring it back up again and just to kind of um, share my thoughts on the topic. So I hope everyone has a good day and um, the I've linked a number of resources in the description below.